All right, very simple plan, just like last time, okay? We run up the beach, I take out my quick crack, I shoot our stickies, oh, geez, sorry about that. And then we look around in the tents to find a diving tank. They go with the snorkel here, and that's in my, wait, what? What snorkel? Oh, you can't have it, oh! <laughs> right, I got the snorkel, my, oh, hang on a second, we're gonna take this off, we're gonna ruin room. Ah, there we go, oh, sorry about that, yeah. Uh, I forgot that I had the snorkel on, yeah, so, um, you remember the plan from last time, right? I mean, we've been doing this every day to find that dang diving tank. We're just gonna run up the beach just like last time. I shoot all the stinkies with my kids, Greg, here, and then, uh, and then, um, we go back home and we work on a project in the water because we need that. Anyway, just get behind me, follow my lead, uh, I'll take care of it. Uh, hold up, and let's go. Now, keep your eyes open for that diving tank, because I'm sure those apocalypse elves are gonna drop one off sooner or later. I don't know how many times I gotta come out here and do this, but uh, we need it for that big water project that we're doing today. So we'll go right on up here. I don't see them on the park benches. What's this then? Eh, Pinox. Oh, here they come. Let's try out this new Kuzkarek, huh? Say hello to my little Russian friend here, guys. Ooh. Ooh, two shots of the head. Not bad, not bad at all. It's got pretty good power. It's got a really nice rate of fire. <gasps> ooh, ooh, there it is, there it is. What? Oh, it's another little stinky. Stinky, crawling stinky. Oh, we had one on him, too. <laughs> wow, jackpot, baby. Two diving tanks. We came for one, two for the price of one. Thanks to my little Russian friend here. The Kriskadek. Can I look? I can't look at that, huh? Hold up. We'll bring it up this way, then. Yeah, so we have a muzzle in here. We've got a ranger muzzle. It takes two uh, attachments, two attachments, the barrel attachments and the tactical attachments. I got the tactical light and the muzzle on there. Pretty cool stuff. And it holds uh, 13 rounds in the magazine. There's, oh, actually, I'm sorry, it's 12. Let's throw some more ammo in there. It takes ranger ammunition, obviously, it's a ranger weapon. And it's got great durability, good uh, fire rate, and it's pretty accurate, too, as far as I can tell. Ooh, let's reload. I'm not sure how much power it has. It seems to kill these guys in two shots. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, especially the crawlers. Oh, oh, yeah! Got him. All right, anyway, we now have two tanks. That's what we're here for. Diving tanks will allow us to use... Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, and then we'll be able to swim underwater and breathe underwater longer. So, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let's get back home because the real project today isn't getting the diving tanks. That was just part one, phase one of, uh, of the big project, which we are going to do on the other side of Mad Cow Island. And it entails building. We're gonna do some building today. Nothing too fancy, but I, I wanna get a boat dock for a uh, little Smurfette over there. All right, phase one of Operation Boathouse is now complete and it was an utter success, I might add. Woohoo! thanks to your support, of course. We now have not only one diving tank, but two. And it's always good to have a spare. Two is always better than one. Two eyes, two hands, two feet, two mouths, uh, etc. You get it. You get the idea. So anyway, let's uh, get started on the actual build. It's going to be a uh, boathouse right there behind you. Why don't you get behind me? Yeah, right there. And I've got all the materials, which it is quite a bit of wood, in fact. It's going to be made out of wood, mostly pine, a little bit of maple. But uh, we do have to do a little underwater work, and that was the whole point of getting the diving tank. And I want to demonstrate something to you here real quick. Let's throw the snorkel on, because you need that in conjunction with the diving tank. But when you put the diving tank on, and this is how you have to do it, you put it on where your backpack normally is, so it will replace your backpack. And it doesn't give you a whole lot of space now, does it? No. It's not something you're going to go backpacking with, that's for sure. But it's going to come in handy when you're underwater trying to breathe. Let's get started right now with the pine floor in my hands. And if you want to follow along, guys, I'll put all the ingredients down below in the description because it's a lot of stuff. And I'm just going to go ahead and build it as quickly as I possibly can. And then uh, you guys can follow along um, on your own and take a look at the ingredients. Uh, anyway, so we're going to put a... Now you can see right there, see how my oxygen is going down really slowly? That's because I got the breathing tank on. And I'm using the oxygen in the tank, so very, very helpful. So you want to go into the water here about where I am, maybe a foot above your head into the uh, to the surface. And then we're going to put a floor down. Pine floor first, then grab a post. And we want to make sure that this is right. Hold on. You want it to poke out of the water just a tiny, tiny bit. And that, that might be too much. That might be too much. 
Um, hold on. Let's move this back a little bit more. I'm going to move this back a tiny bit. You want the post to stick up maybe about half of what it's sticking up right now. So let's move it over right about here. And let's try that. Let's grab a different post this time. See where it is. Uh, yeah, that's better. That's better. Let's grab this one. Actually, before I grab that, let me show you what happens when I take the oxygen tank off. Only because I've never demonstrated this with you guys before, so I thought this would be a good opportunity. See my oxygen gauge dropping quickly? That's because I'm using the what lung is in my what air is in my lungs and I'm talking really fast and I'm gonna start drowning here in a second. <laughs> so we'll throw that back on while we're doing the wet work. And this is pretty much all the wet work for now. We're just gonna go ahead and put these posts in the corners. This floor is not gonna stay down here. We only need it down there for a very short period of time. In fact, why don't we go ahead and throw another floor in there. And we're going to put it right there because we have to continue out that way. We're going to have a tiny little walkway towards the uh, towards the, the dock. Um, well, I'll show you. We're going to put a roof up here. And let me just make sure that is about right. Yeah, that's perfect. You don't want much clearance between the surface of the water and the bottom of your dock. Just like that. And now I think our water work, water work is done. Let's put this back on so I can grab lots and lots of wood. And we're going to need right now tons of these pine roofs. And I'm going with the prefab building materials because it's just way easier. It's just easier to snap everything together. Um, otherwise, if you use the, uh, like the freeform building, it's, to me it's a real hassle. I'm not very very fond of it to get things straight. This is much easier. So now we're going to slap those two guys on there. And I think we needed a total of about, I think, 11 rooftops um, for the basic structure. But we're going to do kind of a basic thing and then a more advanced structure. So I'll sh we'll do the basic first. So right now I'm just going to throw all of the roofs, roofs on. Is it roofs or roofs? I guess it's roofs. It's like hooves. I don't know. So there we go. Now we're going to go one more over here. And then one here. And we're going to fill in the bottom later to make it look a little nicer. We'll put some posts underneath. If you want to. You don't have to. Um, if you want to save on wood, it's not necessary. But you can if you want. Okay, now we're going to go out one more this way. And we're going to leave that space open. We're going to put this guy here. And this guy here, and that should be, is that 11? I think that's 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, 11. So that is the basic design, and we're going to park um, our runabout right there in that slot. In fact, let's go do that right now and make sure that it fits. And I'll show you. Oh, hi, Bess. Uh, what's your name again? Mad cow, Maddie, Maddie. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Maddie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm very absent-minded today. I'm just hungry. It's my lunch break right now, and I'm starving to death. And I can't think straight. And I think little Smurfette here needs some gas. Yeah, she only got 7%. She's a guzzler, man. Oh my gosh, is she ever. Okay. Now let's try not to get stuck on the sandbar, because we'll never get off. And we'll go right under our bridge. Pull it right into that spot. You can back it in or you can just drive it in forward. I'm just going to drive it in forward to save time. And look at her just drink that gas right down, huh? We need to make a run for gas very soon. I think all of my gas cans are now empty. Because of our fishing trip that we went on, our, our uh, cruise. And we're going to pull it right up. Hit the brakes. And if we pop out right here, we should end up in the water. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> You're supposed to hop out the left side. Come on, Papa Smurf. There you go. It's kind of weird like that. Sometimes it throws you off to the right, sometimes to the left. But uh, nine times out of ten, you end up on the dock. I just wanted to make sure that it was the right level at the very least. And we're going to put a ladder up over here anyway, just in case you do happen to fall in and you want to climb back up. 
All right, so that's the basic dock. We can fit one boat there. We can put a couple of jet skis in here. And you can get another boat over here on this side. So if we get like a police boat or something. Um, which we don't have yet, but I'd like to get one someday. All right, now we're not done yet. You could just call it quits right there if you want and say, yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. But, nah, we're going, we're going for the gusto. We're going for the actual boat house. That's just a dock. So let's go ahead and grab... Nope, those are the... That's for the second floor. Yes, indeed, I said second floor. What we need right now is the stairs. Did I make the stairs? Oh, you know what? I don't think I made the stairs. So let's grab... Um, I think I wanted to do this with you guys. Yeah, all this stuff can be crafted very simply under the structures over here. And most of it's just logs. So I've got uh, three logs here, and I want to make the stair, pine stair. So there's really no reason for me to show you guys how to make all that stuff. I've already made it all prefabbed. Um, and now what I want is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of these guys right here, the pillars. Let's grab a whole bunch of pillars. I'm going to start slapping these guys on. And I could use a few more of these roofs. All right. Let's grab a roof. And we're going to put it right here. Snap that right in. And then let's put the pillars up. Pillars are going to go in all of the corners, pretty much all the way around, with the exception of the end of these piers here. there and one there and actually I think we're gonna go out here that's about as far as we go pillars and I wrote this down you're gonna need about 14 pillars for the uh, the, the more advanced boathouse one with the second floor so that there, there it is right there and now what we're gonna do is put the stairs in oh you know what I need to put a roof up here first so these are not floors, these are actual roofs. Roofs. And we're going to put one here as well. Oh, oh geez, I almost missed and that one there. Do I have another one? Oh, I does. And then I think that is the final roof. Why do I have an extra? I might have an extra here. All right, well, let's grab the stairs. We're going to we're going to turn this around. You could do it like that to get up from this angle, but I kind of prefer it like this, because it looks, I think it looks nicer this way. I miscalculated with the pillars. You actually are going to need 18, because I didn't count the, the four down in the, uh, in the water under the duck. So I had to go make another four more, so there we go. And now this last roof actually goes up here. So we have a covered uh, little decking which is kind of slick, right? Although I'm thinking about maybe making that an enclosure, make it actually into a little house, a little hut. Okay, and now for the finishing touch, we're gonna grab some of these ramparts and you don't need all of these ramparts if you don't want them. Oh, I think I grabbed the maple log, didn't I? I did. Um, that was for, I'm not sure why, just an extra, I guess, but I don't need it. And a maple roof. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I remember. My bad. I was going to put a maple roof up here. Sorry. Instead of the pine roof. But let's get the ramparts up first. And I'll show you how that looks. So we're going to put the posts on. These are just as little nubby fellers. And we're going to put these up on top of the big pine post down below. And that's, um, what's that? Six posts total. And then nine ramparts. You don't have to put ramparts in all of these locations if you don't want to. If you're trying to save on wood. But I'm not. Already made them up. And that is actual maple right there. Had to hunt down some maple trees here in Washington. I would have liked to use some birch too, but I don't know if there's any birch trees in Washington. I haven't seen any. I'm going to put the maple roof up here. I'm just curious how that looks. Instead of the pine. I mean, you can fool around with the various styles of wood and mix and match colors if you like. Oh yeah, that does look better, I think. It's got a little bit of a contrast with the darker posts. Yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So, now I think we're done with the exception of a few ladders. And I had those over here. 
already made them up had to use up some of my precious duct tape but gotta have ladders why am i turning around there we go oh i still have my mask on my face <laughs> it's funny how i can talk suddenly with that in my mouth unlike before and here's a little piece of trivia for you i actually had a camel back what is this thing yeah camel back um drink bottle top like a squeeze sucky top in my mouth to do that portion in the very beginning kind of funny right so oh we're gonna have to jump in the water here yay but i don't think we have to go underwater Boo. so we'll put one here I, I really wish these could go lower but it's like you can only go about there it's kind of sad that's good let's climb on up make sure it operates properly and then i'm thinking one over here so when you uh when you bring the jet ski over you could just swim to shore i guess huh let's put it here because this will be fun you can fish and jump off of this one you know you can run and jump in -wee! like that what we wanted to do next is grab here let's grab all these out of here grab some boxes i'm going to show you where you can keep your storage for things like fishing poles uh maybe gasoline cans for your boats maybe your scuba gear and we're gonna go put these very strategically beneath the stairs and i'm trying i want to get that just right now nah, looks good and we'll put another pine box here perfecto and then finally, you can put one over here. Maybe you put a safe over here. I don't know. Or a different colored box. Many, many options. It's all up to you. All right. So I think, I think we're done. Although there's one more thing I might try <laughs> before you go. But I have to go make a few more things. I've got some more wood up in uh, a box up there. I want to make, I'm thinking about maybe enclosing this. What do you guys think? You know what, guys? On second thought, I'm going to keep it just the way it is. I like you just the way you are, Boathouse. Don't go changing. <laughs> I'm not going to enclose that room up there. I like the open air design, personally. Um, not to mention the fact that if I put a door here, it's not going to be... The ramp won't be centered. You see what I'm saying? The doorway here will have the door right here in the center, but the ramp's off to the right. That'll look weird, and it'll be difficult to actually get up into the room. If there is a door there and you have to open it. Got one! Woohoo! <laughs> I caught a raw trout from my sun deck. Isn't this awesome? And just in time, too, because I'm starving to death. Where's my fire? I can put a fire pit out here. Oh, yeah, baby. Doesn't get much better than this. And where is... There we go. Oh, delicious. Mmm. What a beautiful afternoon it is up here. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this. <sighs> get off. Yeah, there we go. Much better. I'm just going to lie down and maybe take a nap right here on the deck. and Hopefully I don't fall off. Uh, help yourself to the fire and do some fishing if you like. I'm just going to maybe uh, just put my head down and... Oh, it's so nice. 